Check out my sponsor, Hot Puck Traders, in the link in the description down below for a cheap and reliable source to buy your NHL 15 Hockey Ultimate Team pucks. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is me, Ryan, here, and today I'm going to be bringing you episode number 8 of my Road to Division 1 series. I know it's been quite a while since I posted this, but... Uh, just all the other videos are so much, it seems like a lot of more people enjoy just pack openings or team builds. Uh, this one's more for the just fans, like the straight up fans that like to stick around and watch the team and uh, see how they're progressing overall. So, uh, team lifestyle, how have they been doing recently? They've actually been doing better. Um, I built a team, I used to have a pretty stacked team, I think it was great in the last video. I ended up selling all those and spending a lot on packs and... Um, Actually, it wasn't all on packs. I did a lot of collections with it. You guys might have seen. I've been doing a lot of collection pack openings. And you guys might have seen the, some of the pulls I've gotten. It's been pretty good recently. Well, actually, the collection packs have been pretty bad compared to what I was getting a while ago. But it's still not terrible. Recently, I pulled Chris Letang, Petriangelo. Uh, no, Petriangelo wasn't a recent. Bowmeister. There's been a Burns. There's been a couple already right ones recently. And look at Burns just rip it there, too. Uh, he's actually such a solid player. So... Uh, right after this game, actually, I will show you guys an updated team build and how they're doing and stats like that and stuff. Overall, I'm really, really liking this team, surprisingly. I didn't think I would. It's mainly, like, just collection players and uh, a couple leftover ones. I only bought a couple, and the rest are just, like, super cheap players that are just in my collection. I've pulled in packs, pretty much. So, uh, one player I would highly suggest buying, and one of the only players I've actually bought on the team is uh, Brian Boyle, Hot Live Brian Boyle. He is so, so, so good. Just put two, like, plus five balls on him, and I promise you he's gonna be the best player on your team. He is unbelievable. And look at this goal here, actually. Boom, 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 chop. Oh, so unlucky for him. And I think that's gonna let him quit there. Uh, I'd probably quit too. That's such a bad goal. I don't know how it went in, but whatever. I'll take it. Justin Williams, uh, also a player I pulled in that collection. I actually forgot he was in this game, to be honest. I haven't heard much of him recently, but look at the stats in that game anyways. I was pretty much destroying him. I just finished it off with that lucky goal there. So, as of right now, here is the team. I haven't made any changes since this. So, Ben Boyle, Burns, Voracek, Spezza, Cogliano, O'Reilly, Richards, Semin, William, Niels, and Lupul. On to defense, we have Vlasic, Carlson, Carlson's free pack, Petriangelo, Bomeister, both free packs, Ham Hughes, Latang, Latang is also a free pack, and my goalie, Boosted John Gibson, is so good. I'm gonna make a video on him. Uh, I don't know how many. He's gotten like, he's just so good. He barely lets in any goals. I hope I don't jinx it, knock on wood. Um, he's been playing so, so, so good for me recently. The best goalie I've played with in this game. I used Quick for a really long time. He was great, but. Honestly, Gibson is a brick wall in that. He is so good. And uh, on to the next game here, Cogliano on the power play makes it... Actually, that was short-handed. He makes it 2-0, and we go up again. Nielsen just puts one home, cross, crease, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. This, by the way, is Division 4, I believe. Yeah, it's Division 4. We're gonna try to make a run for Division 3, and uh, slowly build up to our road to Division 1, which is actually the point of this series. So... Um, wish me luck in these games. Nielsen, again, this HFC card I pulled in the collection pack. Um, I didn't have high expectations, but I thought I'd try him out. He's actually quite good. Burns' shot is just incredible, honestly. It is so good. Like, just everyone on my team right now is clicking, and everything's going right for the team. I just... I've actually enjoyed playing recently, you know, sometimes even when you win, it's not fun. But this game, I don't know if there's been a new tuner update or something like that, but every... Like, it just seems smoother, and there we go, we went in Division 4, on to Division 3, we actually won the title for that, and I decided, might as well celebrate, we had a bunch of puck, shout out to my sponsor, Hot Puck Traders, for hooking me up, and I, uh, finished the Edmonton Oilers collection, Taylor Hall's real expensive, I think, I think I paid 190k for him, and there we go, first pack in the collection thing, we pull a Hut Live Bed Scrivens, and honestly, it cost me, like, six, there was only three on the market, one had no buy now, and the other two, one was 6.5k by now, and the other one was 10k by now. And I just wanted to get it over with, so I had to pay 6.5k for uh, Ben Scrivens, which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. He should go for like 1.5k tops, but I had to do it. I just wanted to get into these packs. So uh, you'll see the rest of this video is just me opening these collection packs. You'll see what I get. 
Uh, I don't want to ruin anything, but yeah, this collection is one of the more expensive ones. I've actually been going down the list on NHLGuides.net, an, an old sponsor of mine. Um, he has a collection list that goes from least expensive to most expensive collections, and I didn't even realize, but I've basically been doing them in that order, uh, which is which makes sense because it's smarter to do that, right? So, uh, yeah, I think I've completed about half of the collections, um, it's which is getting pretty good. I have done. Let me go through a list quick. I've done Calgary, New Jersey, Arizona, Florida, Buffalo, Winnipeg, Carolina, Columbus, Vancouver, Ottawa, Philadelphia, San Jose, Toronto, New York Islanders, St. Louis Blues, Dallas Stars, Edmonton Oilers. So I have 13 collections left to do, which is actually pretty good. We have done, I mean, what, 17? Uh, that's that's pretty good. We've, we're just over halfway, and we've gotten some all right pulls. Not like Lamb Chops Lock, but uh, still... Uh, definitely no complaints. Recently, they haven't been that great, but what can I say? I had real good luck for a while. So, um, I do want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed at any point, please leave a like down below. It definitely inspires me to make more videos. And uh, let me know if you want to continue this Road to Division 1 series. I can always cancel it. It's not uh, that big of a deal, but I thought some of you guys would like to see how I'm actually doing just playing the game around. So, uh, that is all for now, boys. Like I said, let me know in the description down Not let me know in the description, let me know in the comments, and if you could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. That is all for now, boys. We will see you in the next video.